Yo, what up? Is your bro Red here with my demon mask? I'm gonna review second season of Promise Neverland. Is it worth watching? I mean, if you want to continue the show, right? Because I love the first season, but this time around, season two, I get why people don't like it too much. I mean, me, I don't read the source material or anything, but yeah, even I could tell there's a lot of stuff missing, or a lot of stuff was rushed, or there's a lot of plot holes going on here that could really piss off a lot of people, actually. You know. Um, following the events of season one, the kids escape the farm. Now they have to survive out in the open. They get help from different demons. Uh, actually, pretty cool concept there. Demons helping humans. You know, they don't have to eat them because they have this magical blood that you know stops them from degenerating. That's the only reason demons eat humans because if they don't, they degenerate and they can't keep their human form. Though they could eat other forms of meat, so there's no point on eating humans. I don't know, right? This does not make sense to me, but we'll continue on what was going on. The kids eventually make it to a bunker. Um, there's a, they discover this room that looks like someone got killed in there. Never brought up again, but apparently I actually read something into that. It was other kids that escaped from other farms or something, and something happened. I don't know. I can't really all of, all of it, right? Because I hate getting material from outside what I'm watching. I have to do that, really. You can't give me an episode of that to see what happened. You could have made this season longer or maybe continued on to a third season, you know? You never, you could, you had more material, right? Um, besides that, we find out that William Minerva's real name, we find that out too. We find out who his brother is. We find out everything in the season, trust me. Mostly everything. There's still a lot of things not answered, especially the ending. Don't even get me started on the ending. We'll go after the the introduction of some of the characters this season. I'll tell you the ending. Trust me, I'll try to keep it spoiler free, but it's really hard. Um, Mujika is a demon who has the blood to basically stop demons from eating meat or degenerating in this case. Emma, of course, is our main character. She's leading the group of kids in resistance. She's trying really hard, you know, to lead them. Luckily, she gets help from Mujika, who is really nice. But apparently in the manga or whatever, she was actually going to hand over the kids from the farm back to the farm but changes her mind or something because of her companion which is pretty hilarious right now all that being said we get a whole story about the demons and mujika she actually tried helping demons out before her blood like i said couldn't stop them from degenerating but the royals did not like that they killed anyone that mujika helped so now she's on the run the royals have her blood in her and them so they don't really have to eat meat but they want to control the society they live in. It's kind of weird, right? Um, put on my mask back on. With that being said, you had a lot of material. Even if you didn't follow the source material, you had a lot of stuff to make another season. Like the ending was pretty, you know, stupid. What they did, they basically just wrapped everything up in like 30 seconds or less. I'm not lying. Um, I'm gonna spoil stuff. The kids get rescued, everything goes according to plan. They escape to the human world. Emma and a handful of kids stay back to help the demons fight the you know the hierarchy. And it all happens in 30 seconds or less. It's stupid and then you just get a flashback back to the human world. They like I said, oh my god, that's so stupid. But anyways, with that being said, right, that part really pissed me off. There's still a lot of things not answered in this show, right? Why was that family helping them? They kind of do answer it, but it's like stupid. They could have done a whole episode on it, explaining the promise, what was true, what, what was a lie, you know. But it's all done really quickly. You can't keep up. But anyways, I'm going to give this show probably less score than I gave them the first season. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. It's average this season. And it sucks because it was really good. Um... Oh, one thing that it pissed me off, everyone had plot armor. No one fucking died in this show, except for some demons. Like, even in the first season, I was actually scared for these kids. Not this time around, alright? But anyways, thanks for watching. Hit that like, hit that sub, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.